Hi everybody, so I finally went and got, um, well not really studs, I got jewels from Michaels because I had to go buy frames and I remembered. So I'm going to go ahead and do that tutorial right now since I've been talking about it for months and it's really actually simple. I thought it'd be more complicated. I guess if I used a different technique it would be more complicated but the technique I'm using is really simple. No sewing, no needles, none of that needed. It just needs a couple of tools and so I'll show you. Um, the first thing that I got is my fabric, my piece of my article of clothing that I'm going to be studying and this is a um, it was a crew neck sweatshirt from the men's department at Walmart this is a small and it's a gray and I've already started to, to do it just to see if it would work and it did um, and I cut the neck off to make it off the shoulder because that's what I like um, you don't have to you can use anything you want I guess like shirts, jeans, hats, shoes, whatever um, and then I bought this um, it's, where is the other part? It's by, um, Fashion Fusion. It's called a prong setter and thimble. And this is the packaging. And here is what comes in it. You got the prong setter right here. It's got, like, flat ends, but not really flat. They're kind of concave. And then a, a thimble. And then I got <clears throat> clear rhinestones. And this is from the Bedazzler line looks like. It says there's 150 in there and these are also um, pronged. They're pronged to use with the prong um, setter. I didn't want to buy a bedazzler and everything they had there were like really big jewels and the studs they didn't have like a one single color. They had like multiples. But So I bought this and this is what it looks like. It's got four prongs on it. And um, <clears throat> So what I decided is that since this is a dark heather gray, not a really girly feminine thing, I decided that I'm going to do a pattern on it instead of doing like maybe a panel, like a side panel or shoulder pads or elbow pads or random studs everywhere. I decided I'm going to do a pattern because I think that would be adorable. Up to you what you want to do. So <clears throat> what I did is I got a regular piece of paper and I cut out a heart because I want to do a heart. And um, I took this piece of paper and I just traced it on to my fabric using a white color pencil. Now you can't really see the outline on here, but I can. So you can't see it, but I can. Um, so let's just get into it then. Let me just show you how to do this. Get it over with so you guys can go have fun studying and jeweling and bedazzling without the bedazzler. Um, all your fun stuff. So this a little bit more. <clears throat> so with whatever um, style, uh, pattern, not pattern you want to do, it's going to be pretty simple. I don't use the thimble because I don't have a need to, but you take your stud or jewel or whatever and you place it where you want it, push it through the back so that the prongs are coming through. Hope you can see that. Hope it focused. And then you take the the prong setter and just fold the prongs in. Huh. Having a little trouble. There we go. And just make sure they're all kind of down. You don't want it to catch you. These are these are pretty sharp. And so I have three done already. Let's see if it will focus and show you what it looks like what it looks like when you get them set. So I'm going to do the whole outline and maybe fill it in, probably fill it in too. Let me just do another one just because this is not at all as hard as it seems or as it was made to be. So I put it there, flip it over So now I've got four there, and that's like the the um, sharp edge in my heart. That's what it is, and that's all there is to it. It's really not like a hard process at all. Um, yeah, <laughs> I do have I think another um, a few more tutorials I want to do. I haven't quite I haven't bought the ch the chains yet for the attaching fabric to ch 
change the fabric, I'm sorry, um, because I'm actually working on other stuff right now, but, like, stuff in my room, like, art and stuff, um, so yeah, if you have anything else you want to see, um, go ahead and comment below or message me. I did get extensions, had them for, I want to say, like, two weeks now, maybe, I don't know, um, I think that's all that's really new with me. So yeah, hope you guys found this um, helpful or enjoyable. Um, the studs I think were three dollars. The rhinestones were like three dollars, and I think so was the the little kit. So I think in total this project is like fifteen dollars. I'm rounding up quite crazy because I don't remember how much the sweater was. I've had it for a while. But I think it either the sweater is five or ten, so fifteen. It's not bad. Considering it's what you want. Yeah, okay. I'm going to finish this. Bye, guys.